This Etsy store makes over $200,000 a year selling digital clip art. Some of their downloads are making over $3,000 every single month. And that is from a single clip art listing. This is proof that there is easy money to be made for anyone who wants to get started in the online Etsy business right now by generating AI clip art. And in this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to start a six figure business from generating the ideas to creating high quality images to selling your product on Etsy, all from AI generated work. Over 32 million people use Etsy every single month. So there is plenty of opportunity to start your own business on Etsy. So we will be using a 100% free Chrome extension called Everbee to help us analyze products to find the best items to sell and figure out how much these sellers are actually making. For example, this store run by Digital Artsy sells a lot of different clip arts and they have sold 189,000 items in total with an average cost of 8 USD per item. That means this store alone made $1.5 million selling digital clip art. Or take this other store who recently launched a new product one month ago and they've made over $3,000 in their first month of sales alone. But first, please consider subscribing and liking if you're enjoying this content or if it's providing valuable knowledge. Now, the first thing we need to do to get started is to identify a high search value product for clip art. And once we have some ideas, we can start generating the images. The first thing I did was I asked ChatGPT to give me some ideas for good and popular clip arts. It gave me a list including animals, sports, food, and much, much more. Now I'm going to go and put these into Everbee to see which one of these topics has the highest search volume with the lowest competition. Or you can base it off the keyword score, which adds up the search volume and the competition to tell you what the best product is. For example, if I wanted to do an animal clip art, I would try a search for dog clip art. This had a keyword score of 9 with 390 monthly searches, but 43,000 in competition. By the way, you want your keyword score to be higher. I would then compare this to another animal such as a horse clip art, which has 100 less monthly searches than the dog, but 33,000 less competition, meaning it's a lot better product to sell because the odds are I'm going to get pushed in the algorithm more often. Do this for each topic until you've narrowed down your search to a single product. But for this video, I will do horses. From here, it is now time to actually generate the clip art images to sell on Etsy. Luckily, we can do this with the power of Midjourney AI. Simply join their Discord and you can gain access to the bot. From here, you can type slash imagine and a prompt and it will give you images about that prompt. Now, in order to sell Midjourney AI artwork commercially, you need the basic plan, which will cost you $8 every month. And as I'm sure you noticed, there is a lot of people constantly generating images. So if you want to get into a private server, it's actually not that hard. Simply create a new server on Discord by hitting the add server button, hit create your own, hit for me, and name the server whatever you want. Then you go and add the Midjourney bot to your new server by going back over to Midjourney's main server, clicking on the bot, and hit add to server. You'll then have to enter some codes and do that stuff, but then you can add that bot to your server. And now you have your own private chat with Midjourney AI and no random person is going to send images in that server. So now that we have a private Midjourney server, it is time to generate the images. The prompt we will be entering into Midjourney goes as follows. Slash imagine, draw an illustration of adorable horse, clip art, digital art, HD, white background, watercolor, clean line art. And when you're doing this, swap out the horse prompt for whatever prompt it is that you're doing. Once you're into that prompt, Midjourney will generate you four images. If you don't like any of them, simply hit the refresh button to get four new images. But if you like one in particular, you can use the V1 through V4 buttons to generate four new images like that original image you selected. Once you find an image that you like, hit the U1 through U4 button to upscale that image. This is how you download and actually save the image in good quality. Just for reference, U1 and V1 is top left and U4 and V4 is bottom right. Now you have your first clip art. But we're not done. The best way to sell clip art is in packages of anywhere from 4 to 40. So we will generate 10 images around the topic of horses. We'll all have some be different colors, have some be ponies, some be stallions. Just diversify the images a little bit. 
But when you enter in these new prompts, you might notice that the AI will generate each art piece slightly differently. The easiest way to fix that is first to find the image that you want to replicate, then hit copy image link, from there do slash imagine, insert the image link, and then describe the image. This will tell the AI to make the image you asked in a specific style similar to the link that you provided. For example, this pony is the style I'm looking for in my clip art. Yet when I asked it to generate a black stallion, it gave me something that looked completely different in style to the original image. So I copied the link, and now this is what I got for black stallions. It looks a little bit more consistent style compared to the previous results. Once you find an image that you like, repeat this process until you have enough images to fulfill your clip art bundle. From here, we will need to make the images transparent and make it convertible to different aspect ratios to fit people's wishes. The easiest way to get rid of the background is through a free program called GIMP. This is basically like free Photoshop, and for our purposes, it'll have most of the features you need. Before we start removing the background, we need to set up the image. Now this part is optional, but it's kind of nice to have. We're going to make it so each image has five different aspect ratios and templates that people can download. There are five popular templates that we will want to add to our store. This includes the aspect ratio of 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 11 by 14, and ISO. Each of these aspect ratios can be used in a different scenario, and it's best to provide all the options so that way customers will be more inclined to buy our product. Here is also the pixel dimensions for all the aspect ratios I listed. For each template, you will want to go to GIMP, create a new image, and set that particular template to the pixels displayed on screen. From there, you then add the image to GIMP and hit the Remove Background option. This will remove the white background and make the file transparent. From here, simply download the image, and now you have a background-free clip art. Then insert a new image into the same template, and do that for all images in aspect ratios 2 to 3 through ISO. Now we are almost ready to sell on Etsy. But first, we need to create the thumbnail, if you will, for the clip art. This is the image that is displayed on the listing, and this is what sells your product to people on Etsy, so it's very important that we make a good one. If you look at the digital artsy Etsy store, we can see the listings for each option. We can kind of see how they decided to make it. Now, we need to create an option like that for our own horse bundle. And in order to do this, we will go to another free website, Canva. On Canva, we will want to create a specific template. Now, the image listing that Etsy uses is aspect ratio of 4 by 3. Now, most thumbnails for listing should include the following information. Your Etsy store name front and center with a description of what people will find in the pack. For example, think smart, horses, clip art. You then want to tell people what they will get. For example, 12 clip art images, implying that there's 12 clip art images in this bundle. You'll then provide image examples of what the clip art would look like surrounding the main screen. Now we make sure to include all this information in Canva by adding some text layers and dropping the clip arts onto the thumbnail. For this, I'd highly recommend tilting and arranging the images so they are pleasant to look at and they fit the space well. And now from here, we're ready to sell on Etsy. Now this is pretty easy. You just go to Etsy, log into your account, hit start now, hit let's do this and just fill out all the questionnaires and complete all the documents. It's pretty straightforward, I don't need to walk you through this. But if for whatever reason, if you have any struggles, please comment and I'll try to answer all the comments I can and try to help you guys out as much as possible. Either way, if you guys are new to today's video, subscribe, like, make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.